Hello coders, I welcome you all. Let's continue our NLP playlist. So in this video, we are going to discuss named entity recognition. So what is named entity recognition? Named entity recognition, NER, is a natural language processing method that extracts information from text. NER involves detecting and categorizing important information in text known as named entities. Named entities refer to the key subjects of a pieces of text such as names, locations, companies, events and products. Now, what is the purpose of NER? NER identifies, categorizes and extracts the most important pieces of information from unstructured text without requiring time-consuming human analysis. It's particularly useful for quickly extracting key information from large amounts of data because it automates the extraction process. Before we start discussing named entity recognition, let me show you some applications of named entity recognition. This is our first GUI. This GUI is designed to explain how named entities work. As you can see, I have entered this sentence to our GUI. And you can see the output. Entities are recognized that you can see over here. So after processing the text, Spacey identifies entities and their labels in the text. You can see Elon Musk is correctly recognized as a person. You can see Tesla identified as an organization, ORG, denoting a company. You can see here, June 28 is correctly recognized as a date, representing a specific date. Pretoria is categorized as a geopolitical entity, GPE, specifically a city, right? And you can see here, South Africa is also identified as a geopolitical entity, GPE, representing a country. So this is how named entity recognition works. As we discussed, NER identifies, categorizes and extracts the most important pieces of information from unstructured text without requiring time-consuming human analysis. Now let me show you another GUI. You can see this is our second GUI. I have created this GUI to show you how we can use named entity recognition in real-world applications. You can see this is one of the applications of named entity recognition, a resume parser. Here I have created a simple resume parser that parses, resume and displays the required information. This allows one to check the required information directly without reading the entire document. Let me click on this. Parse resume. You can see here. So as we discussed, NER identifies, categorizes and extracts the most important pieces of information from unstructured text without requiring time consuming human analysis that you can see over here. Now let's start our discussion on named entity recognition. Let's jump to Jupyter Notebook. Now let's first import Spacey. Now let's load pre-trained model from Spacey using Spacey.load and we are going to use small sized English model. So for that we have to write en underscore core underscore web underscore sm. Let's assign it to one variable nlp. Let's execute this statement. So this line of code loads a pre-trained English language model small size from Spacey. And here we are assigning this model to the variable NLP. And this is our text. So this line defines a string with the text. Elon Musk is the CEO of Tesla born on June 28, 1971 in Pretoria, South Africa. Now let's apply our model on this text and let me assign it to one variable doc. Let's execute this cell. So this line applies the loaded spacey pre-trained model, this one, to our text. What does the model do? As soon as the model is called on a text like this, it puts the text through a pre-processing pipeline that you can see over here on spacey. A pre-processing pipeline is a series of steps or functions that the model performs to understand the text and prepare it for further processing. Here we are using doc is the convention for storing the objects written after pre-processing. You can see over here doc. As I said doc is the convention for storing the objects written after pre-processing that you can see over here. So this doc object contains the data that was found during pre-processing here such as tokens, sentences, entities and part of speech 
found in a sentence. So when we use a pre-trained model on our text like this, it goes through some basic steps on our input text. These steps together are called the pipeline that you can see over here. This is the pipeline. The result is a doc object. With this doc object, we can check the output of each step in the pipeline. We can also display these steps of our pipeline. Let me show you this. For that, we have to write NLP dot pipeline. Let's execute this cell. You can see the basic NLP pipeline includes talk to vec, tagger, parser, attribute ruler, lemmatizer, and NER. We can obtain only the basic names using NLP dot pipe underscore names. You can see over here. We can see the basic steps of the pipeline that you can see over here that are performed on our text that you can see over here as well on Spacey. So in simple terms, we can check the output of each step using some attributes. Some of the attributes we have already used in our previous videos like token dot text token dot pos underscore for part of speech etc right currently we are discussing ner this step named entity recognition in spacey after you process a document with named entity recognition ner entities are accessible through the dot ents attribute of the document let me show you this let me write doc dot ents Let's execute this cell. You can see over here. As I said in Spacey, after you process a document with named entity recognition, entities are accessible through this attribute of the document dot ENTS. Now let's display in proper format. So for that, let's use for loop. So for ENT in doc dot ENTS and let's print ENT dot text and let's use proper separator and ENT dot label underscore. Let's execute this cell as you can see over here. So as you know, this loop iterates over each entity in the documents named entities, which is inside doc dot ENTS. As I say in Spacey, after you process a document with named entity recognition, entities are accessible through this particular attribute dot ENTS and this ENT dot text represents the actual text of the entity found in the document. You can see here our entities Elon Musk, Tesla, this date, this city, Pretoria and this country South Africa and this ENT dot label underscore represents the label assigned to that entity by species NER model. You can see here if the entity is a person, the label might be person. You can see if it's an organization, it might be ORG. If it's a date, it might be date and so on that you can see over here. Now let's add more explanation. So for that we have to use spaces explain method with ENT dot label underscore. Let's execute this cell as you can see over here. Now more information are added. So as you can see here we have used spacey dot explain is used to provide a human readable explanation of a label used by spacey NER model. You can see here person, people, you can see who are the companies, agencies, institutions, etc. Date, absolute or relative dates or periods. You can see GPE, countries, cities, states. Same for here as well. So this way we can add more information for our entities. You can see here. Now let's display list of entity types recognized by spaces NER component. So for that we have to use NLP dot get underscore pipe NER. So we are fetching information for this component NER from this pipeline that you can see over here. That's why here we have used NLP dot get underscore pipe NER this component dot labels. Let's execute this cell as you can see over here. Entity types supported by Spacey that you can see over here. Some of them we have already used like person, ORG, date, GPE that you can see over here. Date, GPE, ORG, person that you can see over here. So these are entity types supported by Spacey that you can see over here. So Spacey will display entity type as per this list as per the entities recognized from your text. 
So now suppose in place of this all, we want to extract only name and date. So how we can do this with NER? Let me show you this. So as you know, we have already imported Spacey. We have already loaded English small sized model of Spacey, right? We have already processed the text with Spacey like this. Now let's initialize two variables name and birth underscore date. You can use any other variable name as well. Now let's iterate over the entities in the document. So as you know for that we have to use for ENT in doc dot ENTS. Let's print ENT dot label underscore right. But we are interested in person name. So we are going to check if entity is a person name person. So first we are going to check if entity is a person name with if ENT dot label underscore equal to person. Then let's assign text to this particular variable. Elif ENT dot label underscore equal to date. Then let's assign it to one variable birth underscore date ENT dot text text of the entity. And now let's display the output name and birth date which is inside this variable birth date. Let's execute this cell. You can see here this way we can extract entities as per our requirement that you can see over here. Now you can understand with this logic we can implement applications like resume parser that you can see over here and this way we can extract the information from large amounts of data and we can automate the extraction process that you can see over here. Now let's move on. Now let me take another example text and let's process it with our pre-trained model of Spacey small sized and let me assign it to one variable doc1. Let's execute this cell. Now let's display entities detected in this particular text. You can see over here empty. You can see list is empty. Even Facebook is not recognized as an entity that you can see over here. So here I am taking example to show you how we can add our custom entity to Spacey. In short, we aim to add our custom entity to the Spacey list. So, so now let's add our custom entity to the Spacey list. So for that, let me first import from Spacey dot tokens. Let's import span. Let's execute this cell and currently we are working on this doc1. You can see doc1.vocab.strings.org and let me assign it to one variable org is equal to this statement. Please wait you will understand what I am doing and let's use this pen doc1 and here we have to give index of our entity this one at zero. So first one is inclusive and last one is exclusive. So that's why here I'm writing one. So this is the entity that we are going to add in the spacey list Facebook with entity type organization, right? And here label is equal to org this one and let me assign it to one variable new underscore ENT. Now doc one dot ENT s. Let's execute this cell. You can see currently it is empty. Now let's add this entity to this particular list. Let's execute this cell. You can see over here. Now Facebook is added as an entity to this particular list of NER of Spacey that you can see over here. Now let's assign it to doc1.ENTS is equal to this statement. Let's execute this cell. So now let's display with our for loop. So for ENT in doc1 dot ENTS. Now let's print ENT dot text. You can see and let's display ENT dot label underscore. You can see here. Now Facebook is recognized as ORG organization. Also we can add more explanation to it using spacey dot explain ENT dot label underscore you can see over here. So this way we can add our custom entity to spacey list that you can see over here. Now now let's visualize the named entities recognized in the process 
text for that we have to import from spacey we have to import displacing and from displacing we have to use render method pass our instance over here doc this one that we have created for this particular text here we have to write style e and t and to display inside this jupyter notebook we have to set jupyter to true let's execute this set as you can see over here this way we can visualize the named entities recognized in the process text using spaces displacy dot render method that you can see over here now suppose we want to display only this particular entity person for that we have to use options attribute of this method render so here we have to pass this particular argument as python dictionary ents as a key and here we are interested only this particular entity person as you can see over here and also in date that you can see so, so this way we can visualize the named entities recognized in the process text that you can see over here so in this video we have discussed named entity recognition so as we discussed name entity recognition is a natural language processing method that extracts information from text that you can see over here ner involves detecting and categorizing important information in text known as named entities named entities refer to the key subjects of a pieces of text that you can see over here such as names locations companies events and products also we see the real world application of named entity recognition that you can see over here resume parser that you can see over here you can take this code from my github account link is provided in the description of this video hope all of you are clear with named entity recognition hope you like this video please don't forget to subscribe this channel thank you very much for watching this video take care bye bye see you in the next video